In this video, I'm going to show you how to iterate through the apps, like a model driven apps within your environment. Now I'm in make.powerapps.com and uh, I'm in a specific environment named as Girish Dev. Now, if I click on apps, I can see a whole bunch of apps created in that particular environment. Now these apps are a combination of model driven app and a canvas app. Now, if I just uh, just do a sorting, okay, and if I say that I just want to list down only the say model driven app within my environment, then I can see this list, okay. Now, what if I want to uh, export this list into some uh, you know, some spreadsheet, or maybe I just want to render this information that these are the number of apps which exist within my environment? Then how do I go ahead and do that in Microsoft Power Automate. So that's the whole objective. Uh, now, uh, if I go into tables within my specific environment, so there is a table which hosts all this information. Okay. Now, if I click on all, and if I just type model in the search, then I can see various uh, tables called as model driven app component node, model driven app component nodes edge model driven app element, model driven app setting, model driven app user setting. Okay, so there are three, four, five tables. But there is one table which is basically missing from this list, okay, which can only be accessed using Microsoft Power Automate. Now I'll show you how. I'm in Microsoft Power Automate. Let's create a new instant cloud flow and we'll call it uh, list down model driven And it's a manual trigger and I'll quickly switch back to the old environment so this is just a start this we are just uh, have started with uh, the first trigger now in order to iterate through it we need to take help of dataverse connector and in dataverse connector we can uh, go with list rows so here now if you watch closely over here if i uh, see this table name okay in the search if i just type model then here you will see all the model uh, driven app related information like model driven app component node search nodes elements setting user setting so these are the five tables which we have seen over here one two three four five right but there is an additional table which is hidden over here called as model driven app and the internal name is app modules okay so if i select this and if i click on save Then uh, I can test this flow and see the output of what does this listing reveals. So it looks like the flow has ran successfully. We'll just go through this item and see what is the output. Now here, in order to view the output, you have to click on click to download and it will open a JSON format output. So if you uh, watch this JSON format, now this is not in a much in a readable format, but I can explain you that it has uh, a body over here and it has a value and value is a composition of array. Now, let me open it in uh, JSON viewer. So I'll just open JSON Viewer and I'll copy this entire content and put it in JSON Viewer. And here you will see the JSON condensed state is code of 200. It has a header and a body and the body has a value and value is of type array. Okay. 
if I click on value and if I click on maybe the fourth element, okay. Now here on the right hand side, if you see this pane, it will list down the model driven app details. Okay, so one of the model driven app because this is just a fourth element. Now here you can see the GUID of that app module and also here you will see uh, all the various parameters or the uh, properties of that app. So this app is name uh, of the app is developer compliance center. Okay. And, uh, and you can see all other details, whether what's the status of it, who created it, what is the organization uh, ID, what state it is in, what is the client type. And you can even get uh, uh, various internal names of that app as well. Okay. Uh, here you can see various GUID being published. Okay. So we are only uh, focused on the name component. Okay. Similarly, if you navigate to an another app, then if you see the name for this particular app, you can even see the description as well say description of this app and if i click on the name then this is a power pages management app if i click on number seven then this is power platform admin view app okay so what we can do is like if you want to have that listing in a table uh, then in power automate we can go ahead and make use of uh, html so uh, compose and here data operation and we'll say create html table now from where now we know the array is coming from body slash value okay so this is list rows let's rename this to list model driven app so list mda okay now from here i can go into the function and I'll say uh, outputs of list MDA, right? So from this list, we are going to extract the values and the output will come from body slash value. I think that's called as value. And yes, it's called as value. And Oh, I think I need to write it again. Okay, I'll just write it again. Outputs of list MDA. Question mark. Body slash value. I click on save. And that's the output which we want now in the advanced option we can either have a column automatic or custom i will have a custom name i'll call as model app name so this is just a simple text for the header and from here i will extract uh, the output of i told you the property name as name right so this is the name the name of app module and you can even get the description as well let me see if i can get the description of the app so if i just type in description and i can get the description for entity descriptor and all other fields okay so i'll just take the description name that's it let's click on save and I'll test this So looks like the flow has run successfully and now we will see the output. Now it has listed down through the uh, MDA model driven app. And if you see this HTML table, uh, here you can see the raw output or you can see the output here, the 
title, the header, model driven app name, the description is the second column. The first app does not have a description. Okay, and then you can see all other apps with their corresponding description. So this is how you can collect inventory of your environment by using this particular table. The table name is, uh, as you see over here, it is called as model driven apps. It's a hidden table. You cannot view this table in this interface, uh, but you can uh, do that in Power Automate. Okay, now this is about model driven app. Now, what if we want to see a Canvas app? Okay, now again for Canvas app also the same thing. If you go into the table and if you just type Canvas, then you can see only one table called as Canvas app extended metadata. Now, if you go into the flow, now instead of model driven app, if I just type Canvas over here, then I can see one more table called as Canvas app. Now, if I take this Canvas apps table, then I will be able to uh, render all the canvas apps within that specific environment. So that's it, folks. Uh, this is basically how you uh, get the inventory of your environment, uh, basically a list of power apps uh, containing model driven app and canvas app and render that in a table or any shape or form uh, for further use. Thanks for watching.